one of the most effective ways to make your blog post totally shareable is with an eye-catching featured image. It can be a little bit daunting to create them, especially when you're not a graphic designer and have absolutely no idea where to start. By the end of this video, you're going to know everything that you need to do to create some amazing images to market your even more amazing content. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kristen and I share branding, graphic design, and productivity hacks for online entrepreneurs and personal brands. It is my goal to help you look and feel professional online without wasting hours inside of Canva or being a trained graphic designer. Your blog post featured image is the visual representation of any piece of content on your website. This can be a blog post or a WordPress page. This featured image is the image that shows up on your blog role page. These images are also the images that are going to be shared when you share your amazing content on social media. If I want to share this article, I can copy the link address. I'm going to go over to my Facebook page and if I paste in the URL to this blog post, some magic happens behind the scenes and the blog post featured image shows up here in my social media post. Any content that you're sharing is going to do better and be much more clickable and shareable on social media if there is a visually interesting image that goes along with it. Therefore, a featured image is an absolute must if you want your content to go further on social media. The best software for creating your featured images is called Canva. Canva is a totally free software, although there is a paid version that is amazing. It really makes designing graphics super, super easy, even if you're not a graphic designer. This is the inside of my Canva account, and I'm going to walk you step by step through the process of creating a featured image for your blog posts or website pages. Now, the size of your featured image can vary from WordPress theme to WordPress theme. A safe size to start with is 1200 pixels by 700 pixels. This size is going to work pretty well across most website themes. And once you have it designed, you can always tweak the size just a little bit. So I'm going to start by creating a new blank document inside of Canva. I'm gonna click the purple button and I'm going to go down here to custom size. This is where I can enter the dimension of the canvas that I want to create. Once again, 1200 by 700 pixels is going to be safe for most WordPress themes. Hit enter and you are going to see a blank canvas. All right, so let's start designing. The best featured images are a combination of text and photos. You need to make sure that the text headline on your featured image is solution focused and short, concise, and to the point so your viewers can look at your image right away and decide if they're going to jump into your content. You can absolutely start from scratch, but I highly recommend that you start with a pre-designed template. I have an amazing set of templates for sale and I'll drop the link to that product in the video description. All right, let's go with something like this. Templates are really great for beginners because there's a lot that goes into designing professional looking graphics and it can be really, really time consuming. But when you start with a template, you already have a base for your design. It's pretty much just drag and drop and edit these templates to fit your needs. So this image in the background here is where I will be dragging my stock photo, whatever image that I want to use to visually represent my content. Maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you writing an article about how to teach a dog tricks, okay? I'm gonna start out with this template because I love how I can show three different images in this one featured image. So I'm just going to pop over to the photo section here and see if there's any images that will work with this layout. So this one, this one. You can always type in different search terms for more photo options and to locate those perfect photos for your content. Once you have your images in place, you can also double click the image and adjust it in the frame. If you're not finding the perfect photo inside of Canva, you can always navigate outside of Canva to various stock photo websites and I will link some of my favorites in the video description. To upload a photo, you can just drag the file over to the images. From there, you can just drag that image over to your canvas. 
What a cute little puppy. <laughs> All right, so now that we have our photos in place, this image is looking really good. Let's add our text headline. There are a few things that you do wanna keep in mind though. You want to use your brand fonts if you have them. If not, choose fonts that kind of have the overall vibe and tone of your content and the message that you are sharing. You also want to make sure that your text is readable on your graphic. If your viewers cannot read your text, they're probably just going to keep on scrolling. To edit the text, just double click into the text box and this is where you can add your the headline of your blog post. If you want to change the fonts, you can select the text boxes and then go up to this font menu and select from tons and tons of different fonts inside of Canva. If you have specific brand fonts, then you're going to want to go with those. Then you just want to arrange your text to fit in the space of your graphic. You can make these text boxes larger by dragging the corner anchors. You can also change the font size of your text or make it bold or italic depending on your font choice in this bar up here. You should also change the color to match your own brand colors or if you want to select a color from a photo in your layout, you can select the box or object that you wanna change, click up here into the color box. Canva will automatically generate colors that are used in the photo. So I'm gonna choose this yellow color. One of the most important things is ensuring that any text on your featured image is readable. The white text really does not jump off of the yellow background. So I'm going to make this text a different color. That looks nice. You can also change the transparency of any shapes or text on your layout. Canva also has some effects that you can apply to your text. While I like these, I really don't recommend that you go too crazy with them, but adding something like a nice little drop shadow might be a nice touch. This can help important words in your text stand out more than others. When you are satisfied, you can go ahead and download it to upload to your website. Just click on the download button in the upper right hand corner. The JPEG is a smaller file size, which is usually better for website images. Select the page number that you want to download. So I'm going to select page 19. I'm going to click done and then download. Now it is time to upload your featured image to your blog article. Inside the WordPress blog post editor, you're going to wanna to click on this settings button over here in the upper right hand corner. This is going to open up a panel. You need to scroll down and locate featured image. Click set featured image, go into your media library and upload to your WordPress library. Click set featured image in the lower left hand corner. All right, so here is a preview and it looks really really great so let's share this content out on social media i've copied the link and i've pasted it into my own facebook page and when i share this this is the image that is going to come up this is going to ensure that your content is eye-catching and super shareable no matter what social media platform you are using if you want to hop on the fast track and create some amazing featured images definitely check out my blog post featured image template bundle it includes over 30 different layouts. It's going to make designing these graphics incredibly easy and it's going to save you tons and tons of time. And because I love my YouTube watchers, I've created a special coupon code. Just type in YouTube and you will save $5 on the template bundle. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can continue learning how to create amazing and professional graphics to market your blog or business in less time and with less overwhelm. And hit that little bell notification so you are notified every time I post a new video. I cannot wait to see what you create. Bye.